caught me at a wonderful time because I just came from one of my favorite places, which I'm sure you know, Moe's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now I'm at my true favorite place in all of the world, Bonfire Brewing with Andy Justin. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Ken. How many days a week do you see me here? Uh, probably seven. Yeah, just about. <laughs> I mean, there's no days that you're closed, so yeah. why would I not be here? Right. <laughs> I, it's exactly that. I like to sit at the bar. I like to sit outside as well. Um, I don't like to try new beers. I'm like, I'm a pink eye guy. Ah, that's a bummer because we have a couple good new ones for you. That's what I was going to get at. So convince me that I need to set that man-sized pink eye down and try something new. Well, we have two new ones we came out with uh, just yesterday. Um, two styles that people have been asking us for a lot. New England style IPA and uh, an American wheat. Tell me what those are. New England style IPA is uh, kind of a trendy beer. It's uh, been blown up on the East Coast and more recently here in Colorado. It's uh, deliberately hazy. You have a lot of hot particulate in suspension. Very hoppy. Some people describe them as juicy. How would this compare to your fire starter? Uh, a lot cloudier and um, a bit more fruity hop character. Is it like getting the orange juice with the pulp? Yes, exactly. Okay, yeah. I could see that. That's, when I poured one yesterday, somebody asked me if it was a glass of orange juice. But. <laughs> and then the American wheat is just uh, you know, your typical wheat beer, but a little bit less haze um, than a traditional wheat and a bit more hop forward with it. All right. And now when you run these, and when you do it, is it a very limited basis? Once it's gone, it's gone? Yeah, these ones we come out with the tap room are usually about 200 gallons. Um, they'll last anywhere from a week to a month. Okay. I did a river trip with some friends yesterday. Mm -hmm. I brought two six packs, both bonfire. Thank you. Guess what I took? Read my mind. Collar Adler. Number one. Uh, probably Firestarter. <laughs> you didn't even look at my bill. <laughs> no. That's exactly what I brought for him. Nice. Yeah, I had some out of, bring. Yeah, I had some out of town guests. Uh, took them down, did the float trip down where it ends in Dotsero. They loved it. Perfect beers. By the way, they're from Texas. They know a distributor. They're like, how do we get this in Texas? Yeah, maybe we'll go to Texas someday. We'll see. For now, it's going to have to be smuggled in, though. Yeah. <laughs> now, you're all around Eagle County, all the restaurants, the uh, bars, um, also around the state of Colorado. We are, you know, on the front range now. What are some of the places they could pick it up down there? Uh, we're at all the top 50 stores in the front range, you know, your Argonauts, Apple Jacks, Molly's, Tipsy's, those bigger stores. And then some of our best um, partnerships draft-wise are the Mellow Mushroom. We're in all three Mellow Mushroom locations. Um, the one downtown Denver has three draft handles going. That goes perfect. With yeah, it's pizza. excellent. Hanging out in the 16th Street Mall after a game or something. Yeah. We've got about a minute left. I wanted to also discuss coming up. You guys are a primary sponsor here at Show Downtown. Mm -hmm. The band is coming to play here on Thursday night as well. Yeah, Robbie Peoples Band. He's a great local artist. Uh, he actually played the side stage at the block party, and he's going to come down and do a, a little acoustic set after the show in the park uh, tomorrow night. And he'll be Saturday, here Saturday as well. And Bonfire, as I mentioned, pick it up around town. Also stop by here. I saw your new device. Tell our viewers. It's called the Crowler. Yeah, a combination of a can and a growler. We fill the cans right here and seam them on site so you can take 32 ounces of any beer that we're filling growlers of to go. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, it's, you know. An oil can, yeah. Yeah, you look cool when you show up with this thing. Yeah, for uh, sure. Hours down here at the tasting room? We're open seven days a week. Um, Monday through uh, Friday, we, op we open at four, or noon every day. Um, except for Monday, we open at 4. And I also wanted to show our viewers you're growing your own hops out here. Yeah, they're struggling a little bit with the weather um, this season with the wind and the heat, but they're hanging in there. We'll probably get a decent crop and be able to make one little batch with it. It's so cool, and I love your signage out here. And the area that we're standing in, in case you weren't aware of it, it's an old garage. So they moved from home brewing in their garage to this garage, and your tagline? Moving from uh, a, a series of progressively larger garages. <laughs> gather round so come on down great to see you andy thanks ken have a great uh, day stop by pick up those beers put them in a crowler and head out on the river we're going to take it back to the studio we got more weather and mount reports as well as your epic morning coming up next